This is Dror Moshe Kasuto. So the Creator closed the door on Noach's Ark and they, the water were rising and they lift the, the Ark on the waves, on, on, the, on the top of the water and it was floating. Forty days and forty nights the flood was um, happening um, a lot of water, there are many Midrashim, an ancient scripts that are describing those moments of hot, hot as fire um, water that are coming from underground and stones of snow and ice that are falling from heaven, from the sky. It was a disaster. It was a horrible thing. And the water were very powerful, very strong. And even the highest mountains that are under the sky were all covered with water. Um, the righteous man Rabbi Nachman of Breslev said once that the Creator promised, and we're going to see that, um, that he made a covenant with Noah that he won't bring the flood anymore to destroy the land. Um, but Rabbi Nachman of Breslev said, um, a flood of water will not come to wash the world anymore because Hashem promised not to bring a flood, but a flood of negative thoughts of negative thoughts and feelings, lack of faith um, against Hashem will come uh, down to the world. A flood of negativity, of sadness, of angers, of secular thoughts against the will of the Creator, um, thoughts of separation, and all kinds of ways of thinking that are against the will of heaven are flooding and covering even the highest mountains. And Rabbi Nachman explained who are those highest mountains those are even the leaders and the chief rabbis um, of Am Israel that even they won't be perfect in the last generations when this spiritual flood will take place. And we can see that today. Unfortunately, we can see many big people, great people, important people, people that we wish that they will have the merit to lead us and we see that they are very not complete, that they are not completely holy, not completely righteous, that they have also their lackings. And we need to reveal a certain understanding, but only to a certain point, to the point that we're being hurt. When we're being hurt, um, it's time to defend ourselves. If we see other people, weak people, poor people, tired people, people with no... Um, with no connections, with no money, with no I don't know what. Um, we see them being destroyed by people, by rabbis, by leaders, by wealthy people. It's, uh, it's time to protect the weak. Now, no one is uh, declaring war, but... Um, but, uh, but we do need to fight. We're not allowed to let um, big, large, and strong people take advantage of power that they received uh, from heaven and to insult and to hurt and to destroy the poor and the weak. We must go out and defend our siblings and to protect our families and our communities from leadership that is not worthy, that is not holy that is not pure and uh, sometimes you find yourself that you're not able to go and to fight and, and you rather maybe to hide and to protect yourself because you're afraid that your family will be damaged or whatever and it's also a good thing a person must be connected to the truth and not to let no one abuse him not emotionally, not physically, no spiritually in no aspect and uh, if you have the ability to protect yourself, you must. And if you have a greater ability also to protect others, so for sure that you have to do as much as you can. 
um, even though that people are considered as rabbis or considered as uh, known famous leaders or I don't know even being called righteous it doesn't really make them to be um, so important and uh, especially it doesn't give them the authority to go and to hurt other people so it is our obligation even if you think yourself to be small even if you think yourself um, to be weak um, you are obligated to Hashem to the Creator to be as strong as possible and to defend your people and not to be scared from no one no matter who he is and what he claims to be and how other people are crowning him and titling him to be I don't know like who people are people and the divine will is the most important thing and the creator he wants us to be strong and powerful and not to that we will not let ourselves surrender to our fears and to the terror that certain people are pressuring us with we need to be strong and to defend the truth and to defend ourselves and to defend our beloved ones and to join the panda team of the Amuna project and uh, not to be scared of no one thank you be blessed we hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.